Okay, folks, uh, today I want to review a couple of spray foam related products. Um, first on my hit list is a saw used for trimming foam. This is an air powered saw. It will drain your air compressor dry. It is Ingersoll Rand's crappiest tool ever made. Now, granted, this is not how this tool is supposed to be used, but um, my advice is stay away from this. Run. Do not waste your money on one of these. Um, the first thing that I found out after I bought it is that the sanders don't tend to last that long because this is way overkill for it. So if you insist on doing it this way, go to Harbor Freight and buy a $20 sander instead of this $120 sander. The way this mounts is um, a couple of bolts go through some holes that are drilled in a saw blade and these saw blades are ridiculously overpriced on Amazon and eBay. It gives new credence to the phrase Scamazon and Fleabay. So um, once you have parted with your money like we did, the next problem you have is you need a big air compressor. We have a five horsepower air, air compressor. It can keep up with it, but this thing makes that five horsepower air compressor earn its keep. The second problem is, I think the thing's just inherently dangerous. It's very, very difficult to maneuver and control. And because the blade is flexible, you can see I've got it here at a 45 degree angle, it's impossible to trim the spray foam flat with the studs. That is, unless you, you know, want to get some middle ages or dark ages tool time in, in which case this may be your ticket because you'll spend a lot of time trying to make a single cut on a single stud wall cavity. So um, my advice is avoid this thing like the plague and don't waste your money on it. Um, thanks for watching my video. Remember, my opinions do not represent the opinions of anywhere that you may view this and um, they're just my opinions.